going for the Brewers tonight right handed Colin Ray it's been a good year for Colin 12 and 5 start number 26 Corbin Carroll rookie of the year last year he leads off one or two to Carroll popped him up sounded like he broke his bat who wants it and Ray's going to call it and make the catch a rare F1 could tell Marte now just under 290 and 32 homers. Marte hits a fly ball to right field. Freelich in pursuit to the wall. And that one's finally over his head. Solo home run for Cattell, number 33. And the Diamondbacks lead it one to nothing. A little surprised Freelich didn't get that one. He took that one away from Carroll back at Chase Field. He got to the wall and just enough. So the D-backs out in front. Now the pitch, line drive. That's a base hit into right field. D-backs add traffic after the long ball by Marte. Ray's 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a fastball at 95. A little bit off the plate. Walker went after it. And there's two away now for Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Welcome back, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. This is the sign for sore eyes or sore calves, which is what had Lourdes on the injured list. A left calf strain, his first appearance since September 1st. Runner takes off. Ray steps off. And now Ray, fundamentals, and well done. With Gurriel at the plate, Jock Peterson going to the sneak attack. So here is Zach. Diamondbacks have won nine of his last 11 starts. Bryce Terang leads it off for the Brewers. One two pitch, and Terang muscles one into left field, a base hit. And the Brewers have their leadoff man aboard. And that's a base hit by Churio. Shoots one to right field. Terang's going to stop around second base. Back to back hits against Gallen to start up the first inning. First and second, and nobody out now for William Contreras. And there it is. Gets a swing and a miss from Contreras. Goes with a breaking ball and gets strikeout number one. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. Gammy to third. And Gino can't hang on. They get the strikeout, but they don't get the throw him out. And if the runners advance, stolen base number 46 for Bryce Terang. He is third in the major leagues behind only L.A. De La Cruz of the Reds and L.A.'s Shohei Otani. He loses Adamas. Trying to get him to swing at another breaking ball. That's four in a row for Gallon. And they're loaded for Hoskins. 2-2 pitch. Hoskins swings and he hits it to third on the ground. Picked up by Suarez. He goes to second for the force out. And the inning is over. The Brewers load him up, but they do not score. Here's Lourdes Gariel Jr. making his return from the injured list. He was up there when Jock Peterson was caught stealing to win the top of the first. Race is on here. Ray sliding grab. Can't pick it up. And Gariel's aboard. Tino reaches down, may have broken his bat, and dunks it into left field. A base hit for Suarez. Two on and one out for Gabby now. This is inside, and they're loaded for Perdomo. So Zach Gallen got out of a bases loaded jam at the bottom of the first. Now Ray's got the bases full top two. Colin Ray having to grind through this second inning. Perdomo knocks it into right. That drops in for a base hit. Lourdes is home, and it's 2 0 Diamondbacks. Base is still loaded with one out. Here is Carroll. One swing of the bat by Corbin could really give Gallon and company the cushion they desire. Corbin hits it in the air, pretty deep to center. Garrett Mitchell in front of the warning track. Geno's at third. Here he comes. Everybody's going to tag up, and everybody's safe. RBI for Corbin, and a 3 nothing lead for Zach Allen. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and he got him looking. Strikes out Marte. Big strikeout for Ray, but a good inning for the Diamondbacks as they score two. Two out, nobody on, and William Contreras up there. One one-line drive, cleanly through into center. There's a base hit for Contreras. So he's got himself a two-out single, and the Brewers bring up Garrett Mitchell. Here's the pitch. Right on the outside corner, Mitchell looks at strike three, and the inning comes to an end. Gallon strikes out his fourth. He strands one. The end of the day for Ray is probably fast approaching. You figured this would be a shorter start for Colin because he pitched on Monday in relief. Two out. Gabby Moreno now. The 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball grounded towards short. Played on the forehand in the hole by Adamas. Jumps and throws. Nice play. And indeed, the final eight batters that Ray faced, as he's likely done for the night, he got them all out. Colin Ray's night is in. Indeed finished on the mound after four innings. And now D.L. Hall piggybacks with him. The left-hander is coming in his second straight outing against these Diamondbacks. 1-2 is a ground ball through the right side and into right field for a base hit. So Perdomo's aboard. Leadoff man is on. And that'll get it back to the top of the order in Corbin Carroll. He's got a lot of talent. Fly ball to left. Sends Churio back. Churio makes the catch. Slams up against the wall. You all right? And I don't know. He's limping. Hey, you don't want that. He's hurt. Garrett yeah. Mitchell is waving him over. No, he's giving him thumbs up. 
That's not what you want to see. This is the last thing you want to see. That and is a heck of a catch, though. And I think as he's walking, he's starting to feel a little better. He went into the wall and then kind of went back up against it as he made that catch. So that is hard fence. That's chain link, and it's not very giving. So when your back goes into that, it's going to leave a mark. He says he's fine. Dave Yeager still taking a little bit of time before he agrees to leave him alone. Jackson staying in the game. That's the good news there. Now one down for could tell Marte one for two swung on grounded inside the third baseline that's a fair ball pinballs away from Churio now he's got a range far back to his left Perdomo going to get the send around third and the throw is cut off as the Diamondbacks have a four nothing lead so Churio thought it was going to get in the corner and he has to race and retreat it gives Perdomo plenty of time to score Marte up to 90 RBIs now on the season with his 22nd double of the year well, the velocity from Zach has been up a tick and it's been consistently up. We've yeah. seen 96s and 97s. Yeah, he's been doing a great job with that fastball. Great command on it. And there's one away for Joey Ortiz. Ortiz deep in the left field. There she goes. Joey O touches one off. They talk about getting on top of a high fastball. 96 out of the hand of Zach Gallen. Number 11 for Ortiz. Puts the Brewers on the board. Four to one now. Well, on the ground, going to be a tough play here. Perdomo, long throw. Churio legs it out. Nothing wrong with that ankle. Infield hit for Jackson Churio. And it extends the inning as Gallon now up to 86 pitches. Contreras has a chance to really change the feel of this game. Contreras, fly ball, center field off the bell. Contreras watching this one fly. Home run, William Contreras with number 23, and it's a brand new ball game. Brewers are within a run. Here's Garrett Mitchell, first pitch swinging. He hits one out to left center, deep and gone. Tie ball game. Back to back and back to back days for Garrett. Three homers in the Milwaukee fifth against Zach Gallen, and they have tied the game at four. Well, a brand new ball game. D.L. Hall, little different scenario on the mound for him now. He faces Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes hits it high in the air. This has got some carry to it. Shuri onto the wall, and welcome back, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. They get the lead right back. His first game off the injured list, and a home run makes it five to four. Well, that's what good teams do. They respond. It's turned into a home run derby at American Family Field. Gino first pitch swing and rolls it into left center. He's starting to make some noise against Hall. There's a one on single. Gino two for three. Swung on, slow chopper to third. Tough play for Ortiz. He's got it, bluffs the throw to first. And Moreno aboard with an infield one out single. And Pat Murphy's going to make the change here. So Hall, after an impressive run out of the bullpen, coming back from injury, has uh, struggled in his last two outings. Now Koenig will try to calm the waters with two on and one out here in the sixth. Geraldo Perdomo, switch hitter up there, 3 2. And he lost him. Base is loaded. Perdomo has. Given the Brewers some tough ABs tonight. And now a chance for Corbin. It was 0 for 2 with an RBI sack fly. Well, taps it to first. Hoskins going to pick it up. A run comes home with Gino. And the lead is once again 2 at 6 to 4. And now here's Cattell Marte, who has had a very good night at the plate. The Brewers will walk him. And the Diamondbacks will send a pinch hitter to the plate for Jock Peterson. It's the right handed hitting Randall Gritchick. So the base is loaded again, but this time with two outs. Here comes another 3 2. And the breaking ball missed low, ball four. A confident take by Gritchick earns him an RBI as Moreno scores on the bases loaded walk. It's now seven to four Diamondbacks. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Curveball down and in. Walker strikes out for the third time tonight and no further damage. But three runs come across in the top of the sixth. A very critical three outs to get for A.J. Puck, who will try and close out a 7 4 Diamondback lead. Diamondbacks have a chance to pick up a game in the wild card standings. Is a check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Struck him out and one down in the ninth. Strike three, you're out. And 97 right down the middle. Struck out a pretty good hitter there. One out away now. Puck strikes out the side in dominant fashion. And they pick up a game in the wild card race on both the Mets and the Braves.